So, <laughs> hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developer Stream. Uh, my name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of Mine Colonies. And hey everyone in the chat. Hi Silent Souls, hi Margo, hi Ninja. Oh, I'm glad <laughs> that you are now happier with the stream today. I see that our letter emote got approved as well. So that's pretty neat. And hi Ninja, uh, hi Iris Chef as well. How are you two, you all guys doing? And we le left off yesterday, but I do know that Ninja Chipmunk kept on playing a little bit. And that's why uh, we can see the cactus grown so highly, for example. Let's start with that first. <laughs> Yeah, we got the letter emote. That was quick this time. Twitched it really well. Um, I also was very diligent today, and I set up a few things. As you can see, probably we have now the goal on the upper right, where you can see the sub goal until we have uh, enough subs for the next emote. We do have on the. No, it must Minecraft Shirley, I mean. Uh, not Ninja Chipmunk, sorry. Um. We have now on the lower rate right the chat a little bit better, I guess. And yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting pro. <laughs> and we do have also now these these emotes, you know, like when someone follows you, follows or subscribes or gifts something, then then this will show up on the stream. I was very diligent today and set up these things. Uh, let me, yeah, I'm going to replant that quickly, as I promised. Um, here. Let's replant that quickly here. I, where was it? There are some holes. There. Uh, yeah, so I did some setting up stuff that's going to be neat in the future. And some Adams also joined me. Hi, some Adams. How are you? Uh, I can't hear him though. Some Adams, are you there? Can you hear me now? Yes, now I can hear you. It's because my Minecraft client is freezing and it's not accepting any key input. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that as well. Like, it just I started Minecraft ten minutes ago. It just needed ten minutes to load the server and Minecraft. <laughs> um, now I should probably start the. Uh, where is it? No, it's on the other side. Um, the tavern finally. Should get that one started. Here's the entrance. There we go. Oh, it's already started. And I cancelled it. Fail. You have the same problem as some add-ons, I guess. Okay. Erwin did it. <laughs> she made it. Isaiah started the tavern. Very neat. Um, it is... Partially, there are some buildings that are fairly underground, but like, yeah, like underground like this, like the Tatooine of, Sta of Star Wars, based the Tatooine buildings. And another part is like in the hill signs like those, but there are a few buildings that are overground as well. And that kind of look like Ouch. some spaceships, etc. Okay, you do need a shovel, I see. Is there any... Okay, let it, let me let me get him a shovel then. Get up here. Oh, I do have this this thingy. I always forget that. Can get him two shovels. Great. Some items. Did you make it this time? Ouch! No. Yeah, Friday. It's not it's not Friday yet. <laughs> And hi, Pokey! How are you? Oh, that's the wrong direction. We are on a new server that is going to open on Friday for all Patreons as well. I guess Pokey didn't know that one yet. 
short water time. <laughs> and this is going to be on this server here so you guys are going to play together with us on this server so it's going to be super neat um, Asher is going to set up the chat connection to the other servers as well to the discord tomorrow or tonight like Australian time um, it's kind of weird time zones but soon <laughs> soon TM <laughs> Oh, we got a nether portal. Wow, Minecraft Charlie was really diligent here. Um, yeah, the pack is going to be on the Twitch launcher and we're going to release the pack until Friday. We're going to release the pack and you guys are going to get, all the Patreons are going to get the IP via the Patreon Discord and the whitelisting too. And hi, ALS the coolest, how are you? Oh, I thought some Adams was trolling me, but it was actually Saya mining the sand. <laughs> I already published the list of mods on the Patreon Discord already, too. And that reminds me, I actually wanted to write a short an announcement on the Discord, too. About the server. Let me do that. For the few people who aren't watching stream. Um, Patreon server on Friday. And I'm going to include the Patreon link as well. Okay. But, wow, our 58 servers are following our announcement channel already, by the way. No, it's so many. Uh, if you, you're used to, yeah, we're uploading the videos always uh, on YouTube. And when i when i get to it basically when i remember i'm going to upload the videos on youtube but until now i've fairly maintained the schedule of uploading one two videos every one two days more or less and i think we got like 140 mods or so so there's setting i can see this with without locking out nope yeah but i think it's like 120 mods more or less but most of the mods are like client side mods so it should be possible with a weaker computer as well. The pack should not need more than um, 3.5 gigs of RAM. And if you run, especially on a server, a bunch of the code doesn't have to be ran on your client. So it's going to be possible to play as well. And type architect BMW, how are you doing? Ah. So Asher did get it. <laughs> get that started, yes. World will run in parallel. Okay. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to check on our builder. Ah, he's there. Let me help him a little bit up here. Maybe he wants to path up here. He kind of stopped his his way to get up. No, Mizen, it's not Friday yet. <laughs> when it's Friday, you're going to hear me sing. It's Friday. And then you're going to say, Ah, why is it Friday? I didn't want to hear Ray singing. And some items are still trying, I see. It's on Friday we are telling you and it was all joke, no new, new server. <laughs> <laughs> on Friday we're going to say, we didn't say which Friday. 
Yeah, like in a year. <laughs> yeah, we, did, we, we said Friday, um, July 3rd, but not July 3rd which year, right? There's a July 3rd Friday every few years, so that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be Rebecca Black, exactly. <laughs> um, but no, it's going to be on Friday, and I would say it's probably around at least 8 UTC we should be opening this. Um, since everything is already basically ready and only the spawn is finished, uh, the only thing that is missing is publishing the pack. So I'm probably going to look into getting Wissy to publish the uh, pack tomorrow already. And then on Friday around 8 p.m. UTC p.m., right? We're going to then be opening the server. And if the spawn is not finished yet, we all blame Wissy. Yeah. And actually, actually, actually we can blame Wissy for it. Because the server was supposed to be running on Saturday already for the Aravan and Kugo to start building the spawn. So we literally can blame Wizzy for this. No, it's going to be including only one home. It's going to be one home and then an MC home common. So you have basically two homes. That should be fine. What? I thought no homes. What's up with this? Uh, Wizzy was a tough negotiator. He wanted five homes. He, he came with five homes to me, and I got him d down to one home. But we have mods for the same functionality. That's why we didn't want to do it through comments. Ouch. Yeah, we, yeah. Actually, because the comments are barely working, maybe we can go down to no home as well. Okay, since the items are too expensive to craft too. And we like have the waste on mods, etc. as well, right? You can teleport. Eight UTC PM, twenty o'clock. I gotta get to bed. Um, yeah, you sh you should actually watch our first video. And then the two hours of us running around in the world, and you're going to for sure like one of the locations we visited because we visited all of them <laughs> in two hours, blandlessly running around. And um, no, in in the Patreon, most of the things we publish on the Patreon Discord actually. That's why there are not a lot of posts on the Patreon itself, and we pu publish the most of the info on the Minecolonies Inside server, which is the Patreon Discord, basically. And that's where we publish uh, versions to test out and mod previews for new features and all these kinds of things. Okay. Let me see. How, where is Isaiah? What is Isaiah doing? I think he is somewhere. Ah, he's coming back to his work. I think he was sleeping just, so he should be fine. Um, meanwhile, let me just check out his list, and then I'm going to start fulfilling it. Damn the dem. Actually, actually, wait. I got leather, don't I? I do have leather. Do I have enough? No. Maybe. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. Sticks. And a crafting. And we do this, and this, and wasn't it the build tool on top? Yeah, nah, I didn't want, ah, the wrong thing, didn't want the clipboard. It's two letter then, okay. This this time I'm going to do it right, I promise. Okay. And some is still trying, I see. Yeah. Resource scroll, that's what we wanted. Oh, I think it's going to be... I have... I expect more or less 10 people joining, at least, on Friday. 
Yeah, I think we will have like 15 people online total. Yeah. Um, oh, right. You made it? No. <laughs> okay, giving some torches. And now we need a bunch of cactus stuff. Cactus stair, cactus trapdoor. Okay, we can do that. Cactus. Oh, wait, I learned it. Left click. Yes. There, left click, cactus stairs. How many cactus slabs we need? Oh, that's fine here. Cactus slabs. What else? Okay, um, cactus door. And we do have a hundred Patreons, so there is a chance that we're going to get. A bunch more than that, but it's, I think it's like it's because it because of the time zones it usually stretches out over the day. So I guess maybe at the launch we may might have twenty, but then it's going to stretch out over the day to have yeah, around ten, fifteen to, online. It's always a lot more. A cactus door. Yeah, I'm a bit thirsty. I've just come came back from training. Um, cactus trap doors. Didn't do it with left click on purpose, by the way. Uh, there's no player cap. No. Theoretically, there's no player cap. <laughs> um, cactus fence and cactus fence gate. Okay. And practically, there is a cap on how many per people can play on a modded server, right? before it goes down um, but we shouldn't reach that and if so we do have eh, thanks a lot we got a subscription thanks a lot that one Matthias awesome and you saw how I set up the stuff we got a nice jiv playing <laughs> And cactus fence it was now. Okay, I got some acacia logs. Neat. <laughs> Amazing. We appreciate it a lot. <laughs> I do love that chip too. <laughs> Oops, here. Cactus fence. Um we do need white bed and a bunch more sandstone. Let's see, do I have sandstone in here? No. But do I have I have wool? That's fine. So I can craft some beds. Ah sorry, Nightbot did not like something. Yeah, we have a bit of sandstone around, I think. <laughs> exactly, some add-ons. Um and more. Nightbot is rather picky with the amount of messages. Um, if you tell me exactly what you wrote, um, I could configure my Nightbot to be a little bit more tolerant, let's say it like that. Um, I need... I'm out of planks though. I'm going to get sandstone and planks then. Yeah, it takes a decent while. It's it's an important choice to make, right? You don't want to just any place to start your colony because that's the place you're going to be sticking around for a while. So it's actually it's really important to make wise choices in that regard. I guess there must be a chest around. And I think we ran through a few spruce forest um, yeah, locations. We do, have we do have a bunch. I planted some spruce tree. No, no. Um, um, architect BMW was asking for it. Ah, yeah. So, uh, so. You're saying GIF? Yeah, I know that is a huge discussion, right? Is it GIF or is it GIF? I say GIF. GIF. What do you guys yeah. say? Let's make this. Uh, let's make this a poll. <laughs> New poll. 
Is it hard G or soft G? GIF. What do you guys think? GIF? Um, there must be some sandstone here in the bases. Ah, there we go, sandstone. Bringing that to the builder. <laughs> so Adams are going to ban everyone. <laughs> That's a rather drastic choice, I would say. And just making sure it's a representative. All of our channels, uh, so everyone can vote. <laughs> Feed them to Azure. Mm -hmm. It's everyone who votes different has to PM Azure about the uh, mod issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would work. Uh, I could help you with that. You need a pickaxe now. Okay, I can help you with that. Um, okay, view results. What do we have here? Um, hard G, one hundred percent. So give it is. 10 votes. So that's a very democratic one. Hi Strothaler, how are you? Um, no, not this here. Okay, that one here. I need a bunch of planks. Give me a few more of these. Uh, can I make a pickaxe with this? Nice. I can. Another two. And here you go. Take your pickaxe, start working. <laughs> democratic your charge democratic and we had people um, trying to intimidate you while you were making your decision very democratic <laughs> um, sorry are you talking about freedom country um, jungles. Ah, those are different things. I need oak signs. Didn't know there are different ones. Barrel. I need barrels. Okay. What is the recipe for that? Okay, those are easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, I thought those were nice. nice and piece. we got a new follow. Hi, Doremi Fadu. <laughs> Welcome to the Mine Colony stream. Um, yeah, I, I found a few more bugs. I was um, debugging that and I'm... Yay, I'm in. Oh, yay. <laughs> then journey map was having issues at the time after I logged in. Barrel vertical. Okay. I need four. Oh, I deleted journey map folders and it works. Mm, weird. And hi, Minecraft Charlie, how are you? I You're lost not all my wave points, damn it. One, two, three. Uh, uh, one, two, three. Should be fine. Okay, it was four vertical barrels and two horizontal ones. Okay, I don't have enough planks. For that one, I can make another four from that. There we go. Another just enough planks, perfect. Okay, what else do we need now? Torches and oak signs. So I need oak wood. Do we have some oak wood up, up there here? Mm, not sure, but I planted some. Um, I do not use, we do not use the restricted mode for the lumberjack because we got, <laughs> we don't have a lot of trees around. <laughs> we have like five <laughs> trees and cut We don't have a lot of trees around, so we do not care too much about that. You said you planted some. Yeah. Where? At our lumberjack area. Up there. Um, I do need some food. I'm almost out of food. 
but I'm not sure if they are still in. No, I can only see. Ah, there. I found. No, that's also birch. That's acacia. There don't. There doesn't seem to be any around here. I think I'm going to run there. I'm seeing some oak wood here in the in the distance. Oh, that's neat. Nice work. Yes, the restricted mode does work of the lumberjack. And it works very like well. Ten trees. This is this is oak here, right, isn't it? Oak log, perfect. I don't need a lot of it. Just for oak signs. I got a, f a bit. Having some logs in general is good. Yeah, Father, Father Day is more important. There are not a lot of things that are more important than, than Mind Colony streams. But I would say Father's Day is more important, Mother's Day, birth of your first child, maybe. Grandmother's f uh, birthday, uh, maybe. <laughs> Okay, now that's a big oak tree here. Okay, you got some oak at home too. Yeah, just wanted to get some extra. <laughs> it, it, it didn't want to be tasteless. <laughs> yes, you can submit the um, schematics. Um, the best person to talk with is is um, Luna and if those are great we add them to the mod okay almost here yeah um, most of the schematics you see in the mod were submitted by players like Erevan who is online here right now is uh, one of the players that submitted for example the fortress style and one underground style as well. Uh, where's the base there? I'm out of food. Um, concrete. It should make the move a little bit faster though, I think. I have a feeling it does. Mm, what? Yeah, I think that was something the children mod added. Yes, you can add um, mods even if they're not in the... M in a, you can get schematics even if they're not in the mod. You can use them uh, in a, if you put it in the structurize folder in the schematic folder, <laughs> and then you put another subfolder of a style. Then you can basically use that, and your builders and citizens are going to use those buildings without any problem. Oh no, it's not. No offense taken at all. People have different tastes and we highly encourage people to be creative, build their own styles and if you think it's good enough to share it, please do so. Um, you can send them to us, um, Luna can review them and if they're fine we can upload them in the mod pack and that's also not a problem. Um, you can normal schematics like scans can be used on the server like anything you scan in um, a custom build, a player house or something like that, that already works but custom styles don't. Custom styles have to be approved and uploaded to the server folder by us basically. It's because we aim on adding in the future some economy parts and if we allow everyone to use their own styles people will just make mud houses and there's not going to be a difference using a mud house or a normal one and people are going to have then huge advantages from using easier housing modes basically that's yeah. that's the reason since we got some some plans for these kinds of things okay that's the remaining stuff was this 
And a bunch of torches. I'm going to keep a few to me though. Oops. Now, how are we? Torches, everything! Nice. Yes, exactly. Paths, walls, everything works fine on the server, but if it's a, a building, like something the citizens use, a builder's hunt, a lumberjack hunt, um, the town hall, then that has to be approved by us first. That is exactly the idea, so if it reminds you, then we did a good job. <laughs> And that is exactly the idea. That's why we call it Space Wars style. Because that is the... This, when we place the Citizen Hut um, later, that is going to probably remind you a little bit more of it even. There are a few huts that um, aim at that exactly. Um, the library is supposed to look like the Jedi library. The university is supposed to look like Darth Maul's um, tower, all these kinds of things. Yeah, Star Wars skin packs with Chavas, etc. would be amazing. Since we have this possibility for the diversity, it's pretty awesome because you can actually have like different species. Like in instead of having different ethnicities, like our citizens, you can have different species in the, st in the Space War style. That would be super awesome. Can you just tear down everything after this upgrade to level 5 except hot plug? Um, basically, yes, um, Iris Chef. Um, the o there's only one restriction, and that is um, some buildings need some blocks, for example. Um, you can't remove the racks, because if you place your own racks in the building, the citizens won't be able to use them, and you will want the citizens to use the racks. You can't remove the furnaces in the in the cook or in the smelter workers because they only know those furnace locations. Um, basically, there are a few little rules like that. What are you doing? What are you? What are you up to? This is the waterfall. This is the entrance to the tavern. Really? Yes. Is it outside? <laughs> or is it here? I'm unsure. Nah, it's not. It's it not. Be, yeah. It's here. Yeah, the, yeah it's a different entrance here. Between Town Hall and. and what is here? Oh, a secret labyrinth? Mm. Maze? A door behind the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> Yeah, if if you're on single player, you can actually paste in buildings. Like in the build tool, like I can go game mode creative just to show it quickly. In the build tool, you have on the lower right those two buttons. This one here, you can like um, go to level 3 and then click this button here and it's going to put the building as level 3 already. So if you're in survival, you can see like, oops, okay, I'm going to fix it. At least it seems our builder is working. What are you up to? Okay, is he mining? I think he's mining. Yes, he is. Azaya. Busy, busy Azaya. Mining out places here. Okay. Um, like I showed, there are two buttons. If you use the right button, it won't place the placeholder block. If you use the left button, it will place the placeholder block. That is important. Oh, by the way, some add-ons. Luna was having issues getting tags scanned. And I don't know. 
Maybe you have to explain her again because the style she sent me today didn't have. That's probably why the tags in the taverns were not included correctly either, because she. Oh, had lost work actually. Huh? Tavern actually does tags. No, but you said that um, she forgot to put the tags on a few of the taverns. Yeah, but that was just me being wrong. <laughs> Okay. I just not didn't notice <laughs> that it just did not apply them. Okay, that's that's fair. Fair enough. Oh wow, we can see the difference of sand and sned. Look at this. Those two on the left and right are placed on sand, and those others here are placed on sned. That's a decent difference. Let's get a few more of those. She Why would. Do we have so many trader llamas. I think someone is killing all the traders and just keeping the llamas alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just heard someone coughing. I guess it was Shirley. <laughs> um, it's a mod as well. Um, but yeah, but like we said, it's. It is a bunch of mods, and it could seem a lot, but actually there are a lot of mods that do not a lot. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Like there's a mod that just r removes the restriction to grow high, or there's just a mod like Snad that adds one single block without a lot of functionality. So it should be relative. If you're not playing with shaders, it should be relatively smooth, the pack. No, there's no mechanism. Mechanism is laggy as hell. Ask some add-ons about it. Ow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty laggy. Mechanism is super laggy. RF tools? I think RF tools might be even worse. <laughs> RF tools is mostly decent. It's decent? I didn't know it's, that. Uh, as far as I know, the only mod which is using cables, which aren't tile entities. Uh, AE2, we had some issues already, I remember. But oh wow, the, the town hall is getting updated. dug yeah, out here by the other builder, isn't it? What is by the other builder? The town hall. Getting dug out. No, he should be doing his own hut. Because I think it's level 9. See you still. Ah, so I stopped the um, Isaiah from working here in the town hall probably. Because that one here already got built a little bit, it seems at least. Maybe surely assigned uh, our builder to duck, dig out a bit. Yeah, there, there, there are certain mods we don't add on purpose. And it's because we're playing with mine colonies after all, so we do not want you to use mods to do things our citizens can do for you, right? That's the general idea. Uh, the tech colonies pack was like an exception because we were asked for a long time by a lot of people to make finally a, a tech pack as well. So we said, okay, patrons, you guys rule anyway, so we're going to make a neat tech pack for you guys. And after that, we're going to make another normal Mind Colonies more vanilla like pack, too. And yeah. Although everyone, I think, experienced the lag on the tech server because of a few of the auto crafting mods. Oh, yeah, auto crafting was fun. <laughs> it was like basically every time someone was auto crafting something, the server was completely stalled for like. Uh, auto crafting is actually a lot of people ask like ah, I want this more automatic I want recipe discovery and all these kinds of things this is not so easy if you think about all the other crafting mods all these other crafting mods they also force you to teach recipes they don't know recipes automatically they also kind of force you to select some chay recipes or something like that. 
And that's exactly because of that, because it is fairly difficult. Yeah, alone it does you you won't notice it a lot. Only when you're playing with other players mostly. But auto crafting is fairly complex to realize. It's probably one of the things a lot of mods tried and failed with it. And we want to make it balanced, kinda. That's why at the moment there's no auto recipe discovering yet. But this is also because it is fairly difficult, because we would have to simulate things if there are two similar recipes. For example, I'm going to give you an example. If we add um, a res an automatic recipe discovery and then um, a request for sticks comes in. Now sticks is a kind of tricky thing because you can st make sticks in a lot of different ways. Do you, How do you want your sticks made, right? Do you want the sticks made from dark oak, oak, um, acacia? What kind of law, um, planks do you want? these sticks made of. And depending on the mod there are sometimes even other recipes additionally too that adds um, these sticks recipes. And let's say there is only two three types of blocks in the warehouse. Now bamboo is exactly there's bamboo as well. So there's only two three um, blocks that are actually static. Um, only two or three blocks are in the warehouse actually and now how are you going to decide which one it is going to be like do we have to actually be when you the, um, the uh, sawmill worker says okay I can make sticks do we have to simulate and check what do we have in the warehouse what do we have the most of and all these kinds of things and that is Something that is fairly difficult in Minecraft because it would a lot of computing overhead and would create a ton of lag. Exactly. It would have to search through all kinds of different blocks to make recipe, recipes from. Then he would have to simulate all the possible. And it's not only like you say, ah, okay, searching in a warehouse, if I which blank type I have the most. But what is if you need to create um, fence gates, right? You need. Um, planks and you need sticks so which planks uh, so which sticks are you going to make okay we're going to decide we use the type of plank that we actually do need to create to craft the um, defense gate so it is very complicated to get that running smoothly and that's why we actually decided to make it more fixed and you teach the recipes although we do hear you people and we have it planned to allow things like researches that gives you like an item that allows you to teach all recipe all vanilla recipes of a specific wood type or allows you to teach all the recipes of a specific structurized block type <laughs> um, yeah, all the structurized recipes, that would be a lot. And you have to see that we have to go through all the lists of recipes of each crafting worker each time a request is issued. So, so if we allow you to add 500 structurized recipes to all the workers, that's like 2,000 iterations for each request so that is also not the best idea um, yeah but that's, that's what I was saying we plan on having research at the university that kind of generates books with recipe sets like that so that you just take the book and right click on the on the hut on the res uh, respective hut and then it teaches all those recipes. There, we, like we're thinking about ways on how to make this work neatly within the realm and limitations of Minecraft. Oh, we got a strainer base here. 
They're sifting stuff. Oh, I actually do not like sifting mods. I'm going yeah, to I don't. That because no gravel spawns in the biome we are in. I couldn't find any gravel anywhere. Yeah, I'm going to tell the Wizzy to remove the sifting mod. <laughs> it's it's just so overpowered. It's just so overpowered. You just place something down with a little bit of a strainer in the water and it auto generates like a ton of items. Well, this is running a few hours. Still, it's a lot of stuff for alone, right? And and it's the top tier strainer. Yeah, but we started playing yesterday and already got the top tier strainer. It's not like it seems to be not something so difficult to get. I would expect well, like a top tier strainer to include a nether star or something like that. Well, my boots are made of the strongest material in in this material mod. Um, is there a recipe for vines? No, there isn't. There we go. Sleepy. I made some blueprints. Yeah, I, I saw those. Those look fairly neat. Nice. Um... Yeah, we, we thought about, exactly, that's what we thought about Super Minix. About having like a limited amount of slots in the buildings where you can put uh, place those recipe books and then depending on the building level you can have more and less slots. Exactly, that's the idea. Why do you need a strainer for the fortress colony, Mizen? Um, I'm going to check on Isaiah again. I guess he needs another pickaxe or shovel. He's been mining a lot. Let's check on him. You only need a hammer and another pickaxe. I thought that. Um, I have a few more of those. And can get you two here. And one of this. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, great. Are you, but you can get vines in the jungle, right? You can grow them like this and just mine them with uh, shears. You find vines naturally generated in Minecraft. That should not be a big problem to get. Mm. So it's getting late already. Um, like okay. I said, to yes. Uh, if I may suggest you making a machete, it is basically a sword that acts like an axe and a sickle in one. Ah, that's a need. Yeah, I'm going to make one of those then. I got some chaos crystals. Those should be fine for this, no? We have a few stacks of those. So I guess not. <laughs> um, so I was saying, um, today was a shorter stream because I uh, arrived late because of the training and it's getting fairly late here already. And I wanted to finish a little bit of code before going to bed. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in the next stream. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in everyone. Thanks for our new followers and our new subscriber. Matthias, appreciating it a lot. Um, good night, everyone. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.